And good evening, everyone. This week, major movements away from pandemic restrictions, capacity expanded for many industries, and some rules removed entirely. Some of it done by the governor's office itself, some by state lawmakers bypassing the governor. Atia Collins, live for us now with everything we learned this week. Atia. Well, Jack, Governor Cuomo believes New York State is winning the fight against COVID-19. And he says it's time to reopen some of our businesses like restaurants and barbershops so the economy can heal. More people, more income, the, you know, the better, the better business will be. You know, we've been waiting for this for a year. So thank God. Joseph Kakosa, who owns Joe's Upscale Barbershop in Webster, says the capacity increase will allow more people to come in at a time. You know, it's going to bring back our atmosphere, which is the best part of the shop. And it will bring back stylists. Over at Joelle's Hair Design in Rush, Joelle Lane has been the only stylist in the shop for a year, and she hopes to bring on two more. They've had to do that all year, and only, you know, they've had to work less hours. So, yes, it's less income for them. But now if they can increase their hours a little bit and their productivity during the day with a, an extra client. Let's say while they have a color on, they can do a haircut. Restrictions are being lifted across all industries. Starting May 7th, capacity restrictions will be expanded to 75% for hair salons, barbershops, and other personal care services. This comes on the heels of changes for bars and restaurants as the 12 a.m. curfew will be lifted for outdoor dining areas on May 17th and indoor dining establishments beginning May 31st. And beginning May 5th, gyms, movie theaters, bowling alleys, casinos, and billiard halls will be able to stay open past 11 p.m. And you no longer have to order food with your alcohol service as lawmakers lifted the requirement earlier this week. Reporting in Rochester, Tia Collins, News 8. Atia, a lot changed.